Turbo. We're going for a breeding, and he is crying his sad little cry because he knows that his female is ready. And can you hear him? I put a little lavender on his nose, although actually I had Tim do it. I said a little, a little. <laughs> leather this morning. I'm not quite sure how warm I'm going to be. My appointment's at 10.30 and it's 10.01 and I am more than 30 minutes away. I'm working on that. I had to feed puppies. So I always love this. These people run me off the road because they want to pass me. hurry to get somewhere so they ran up beside me after the two lane was done when I watch them I bet they turn here at Walmart people 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 choose not to be offended um, hey buddy having a hard time having, having a hard time you having a hard time actually this is a good thing <clears throat> when your males know that your females are ready. <clears throat> so yesterday was Sunday. Today's Monday. Amazing. I know what day it is. And Holly Berry was just being... Oh, he's in the crate. That's his problem. He's in the crate. I thought he was out. He's in the crate and she's out. She's over there teasing him. I should have loaded another crate. I told Tim that. was just being pacing and wouldn't lay down and digging and even though she's only day 58 I said you know that's not normal behavior here's your writing on the wall so we loaded her and Layla both up and went to Green Forest to Dr. Blaine's and we got there a little after three and he didn't get there until pulled progesterone and ran a reverse progesterone which what that means is all it is is a progesterone reading that you're getting but the reason that you call it a reverse is that you're not looking for a rise you're looking for a fall so you're not doing anything special with your progesterone machine you're just looking for you know her progesterone to have fallen to about a, a one I had a girl years ago that couldn't carry a litter about two weeks out her progesterone would fall so low that she would lose her litter and uh, this happened twice so I lost two full litters and then I went to this seminar where this OBGYN nurse or labor and delivery nurse I don't know what they call it she delivered a lot of babies let's just put it that way and she also raised and showed dogs I think she had King Charles Spaniels or something but anyway she said I, I never heard of this I didn't know this but she said just put them on regime which is a horse progesterone and she then she did carry two litters for me you know, I paid a lot of money for that girl in our finisher championship. It was a girl I had purchased. Her name was Desiree. And she never produced anything spectacular. I was a little disappointed in her. But I paid $4,000 for a red girl one time because I was on fire and I had to have her. Of course, this was 10 or 12 years ago. It was a lot of money. Never produced anything never produced anything I liked or wanted. Now, she was beautiful, but she never reproduced herself, so that was sad. Uh, she never had more than four or five puppies, and I think she may have only had three litters. I don't remember. <laughs> I, I could go all day. I got paid $4,000 for another dog. She was huge. Her name was Callisto. She was, she was big. And she had 13 puppies. They had demon decks so bad. They were 
losing hair at 12 weeks old. I mean, it was so bad. So I, I've learned a lot over the years. Gave a lot of money back. People love their dogs, but the, all of those that went as show dogs for them was a fabulous litter. Used a top five stud in the United States. Drove 10 hours one way to do the breeding. Yeah, and then ended up with puppies with demon eggs so bad. And it was not all from the sire, it was some from my girl that I just purchased. But anyway, that was sad because I wanted to keep puppies out of that litter too. Uh, I don't know, I lost my train of thought. So we pulled the reverse progesterone. Both girls were in labor, although Layla didn't act like she was in labor at all. She wasn't panting, she wasn't digging, she wasn't nervous, she wasn't stressed, she was just laying around. Now, she didn't feel super good, like she wasn't jumping up and down, although she was demanding food. Uh, so, when we did her C-section, the red male was dead. So I have three brindle males and one brindle female. So she only had five in there. Her ultrasound, we thought we saw six. But <clears throat> anyway, five would have been better. I was kind of mad at myself for not taking them the day before when her C-section was actually scheduled. Actually, she had a C-section scheduled at 7 o'clock. was that? wasn't yesterday. I think it was the day before. But I was like... I can't go to bed at midnight, get up at 2.30, feed puppies, and then work all day. I just I can't go on two and a half hours. So I, I did not do that appointment. No, that was yesterday morning. So she had that appointment yesterday morning at 7 a.m. So I had gotten up at, anyway, gotten up at 2.30 and 2. No, I think I got up at 2 and went back to bed at 4. I just, I'd had to got up at five, feed my puppies again, and I st still would have been a stretch to make it to the bed by seven. But I wished I would have now, you know, I might have saved that other puppy, he might not have detached. So, Holly Berry had six beautiful puppies. Five girls. I'm like, is this a sign I need to keep a girl? This is her last litter. So she's such a lovely girl. I love her. So both of my, Layla and Holly, already have their retirement homes lined up. Holly's gone to Connecticut, and Layla's going to uh, College Station south of Austin. So we are uh, excited about that. The guy that had to pass me is doing 35 in front of me. People, people, people. Uh, been in such a hurry. I had not even ate breakfast this morning. I am headed over to do Sadie's surgical AI. Oh, so we pulled. So yesterday, when we went over, I pulled Sadie's blood right before we left with these two girls. Holly's having a fit, panting, blah, 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 blah. It's an emergency. Puppy ambulance, stick the light on, let's go. And Layla's like, yeah, I think I'll take a nap on the way over. And Sadie was at 20 yesterday, so yeah, she's got to be bred today. This is her last day to conceive. So this will be Sadie's last, second and last litter. She was three in August, but she lives with a family and they get very distraught when she's not there. So I decided this will be her last litter. So we would like a very beautiful litter. She had eight or nine last time and I think she raised them all. Caboodle is refusing to lick a butt. I mean, absolutely. And Chip too. So I'm doing 23 puppies every feeding, trying to keep them clean. So the thing about when I first get in there, I wash them down and then I leave. And then when I get back in there, I wash them down. But the problem with a mother that won't lick their puppies is that in between time, uh, 
when they poop and I'm not in there, then they get it all over each other. So. And they're still not pooping like I want them to poop. I gave them some, I've got them on some probiotics and then I've got them on some paste that just causes, it's kind of like a, it's not Pepto-Bismol, and you can actually get Pepto-Bismol to a puppy, but it's not Pepto-Bismol, it's a paste, and it does thicken up their stool. But what they need to do, their gut needs to settle down, and I blew them into diarrhea with that goat's milk. Boy, was I sorry. I did that. So I feel like I've rambled on and on and on today. I actually did get a little bit of sleep last night. I went to bed at 10 to 1 and got up at 2.30. Uh, I had just went out to the house. Tim's got Holly's litter and Layla's litter with with him out there. He can take care of them. There's not, they're two small litters. He can do this because those girls clean their puppies. Holly's got milk. Layla, she looks like a big fat sow. I think she's 20 pounds overweight. She had a little bit of milk, but not a lot of milk. So she needs to man up here and make some milk for these puppies. So it's a beautiful drive, kind of driving into the sun. I think this is interesting. So the person that had to pass me and run me off the road, I mean, I, I, I had to break or they would have ran me off the road, is not even doing 55 in front of me. People. I feel like honking, but that's my flesh. I want to get into the flesh. I want to honk at this person and tell them what I think. But whatsoever man sows, that shall he also reap. So we shall be sowing ugliness. I was thinking about in Romans 8 where it says if we are not submitted to God or those that are in the flesh that's what it says, those that are in the flesh cannot please God. Those that are in the flesh cannot please God. So I'm just going to settle here actually up here at about a mile I have a passing zone. This little van, well, it'll get on it and it'll pass. So pray for a good day and a great day and um, this will be my last breeding this year. I am so sad I miss Piper. I really wanted to ship in some sperm from Nautilus because he's just amazing. He produced Callie and Steffi and Chip and Caboodle, and I just really like him, and I'd like to have another litter out of him. But God has something in the works for me, and I am not going to breathe a word until after it happens, but um, um, about a new stud dog. Baby, baby. So, yeah. People that run you off the road to pass you so they can drive slow. <laughs> okay, yeah. Right, you guys have a good day. my puppies have settled down a little bit. We'll be there before you know it. I don't think I'm going to be there in 15 minutes though. So signing off. Have a great day. I know it was like la 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 here there and everywhere. Here there and everywhere this morning. Everybody's doing good. That's my good report. And Lily came today. I hear this peck, peck, peck on my door when I was up at 7.30. I mean, I was already up, and I hear this peck, peck, peck. I'm like, who's pecking on my door? And I opened it, and Lily was like, let me in. It's cold out here. <laughs>
it was it was 27 degrees and it was cold out there so Lily's come back to help me yay all right bye guys have a great great day